Okay, so now we're in substance painter. I'm sorry again for the sound, but I can't do anything about that because it's just the uh, microphone quality. Right, but anyway, so now I'm going to build this texture map. Uh, I'm going to use the curvature map which we just built previously. If I just can get my bearings, think what I'm doing. Right. I've loaded the maps earlier, so you can see there, there weren't maps there where you're going to want it just in normal places, base colour, roughness, normal. So what we need to do is views. I'm going to text set settings. We're going to bake these mesh maps. Right, so bake that, bake them. And we'll notice on the curvature map here. Can just find it. Don't have only got one line going down there. Possibly one on bottom. So you, you can't really see those lines. So the metal edgeware which we're going to use is not going to follow that very well. If I load this map now, which we created, I need to lo load that again so it can be seen. You can see these lines are following a lot stronger. Well, they're following all the way around. Okay, so now we can s now you can see how that works. Now I'm just going to quickly create a layer above. I'm going to paint that red so you can easily see it. This is what we're going to do to moss after as well. A black mask. The generator. Metal edge wear. And we can see how that gr red line is now following the curvature map. See, see how it follows the curvature map. So that's what the metal edge wear does. And with that, I'm looking for edge smoothness here. You can change the smoothness so you can actually see how it's like breaking up there. So we're breaking up that smoothness. That's why I mentioned you can have a thick or a thin line. So instead of using the red paint, I'm going to use the moss to do that. First time I'm going to tile, tile these a little bit. So now you, have it, now you understand how the curvature map works. Uh, just bear with me because I sometimes lose where my layers are and things after shot them all down. It's there. Just tile that a bit. Don't same for that moss. Tile it a bit. And a black mask. Add a generator. Metal edgeware. Come down. Break that up. So you can see how you can bring it in. So you see how you get this moss to look like it's growing up the sides and around the wall. Now what we can do is copy the brick wall above. Paste that layer. I'm going to mask that and paint it. We're going to paint back in like Photoshop, like you would in Photoshop. Add a black mask. Select the white paint. Make sure I've got white. Get a decent brush size. You can see I can take it out. But 
that that brush has got no softness to it. I don't think, or has it? Hardness. Yeah, it has. I don't know why it's not getting a soft look. Maybe if it's maybe it's still at scale. Looks a little bit harsh the way it's taking it out. Uh, but you can play around with that short opacity as well on that. So you can, you know, so basically you can see how you can actually build these layers up. You can duplicate that layer and place that layer above and you can get stronger areas and strength for your moss. And that is how to make your moss grow up the tree by using a curvature map. That simple. Uh, let's just increase that. Uh, 